I'm calling on President Mohamed Buhari to reappoint him and send his name to the Senate. You saw the double report from the DSS, one for, one against. You saw the Senate rejected him twice. His job speaks for itself. In law, we say reps ipsa loquito. The thing speaks for itself. So you don't need any new person to come and land on the job. This man has seen it all. The one that excited me most recently was the Nepal inquiry. You could see how billions were paid to people without doing anything. Billions of naira, some cash. And yet we have no light. A lot of money spent. And this will make the president direct him to now look into all the constituency projects and the contracts awarded since 1999. So that we can actually know why our villages have become a dungeon. I don't know whether you come from the village. I came from a village. If you are going home now, you may not get home till 48 hours because of bad road. So Magu in his second turn, turn off with the teeth that will be given to him, more teeth that will be given to him by the National Assembly, by the Senate, should be in a position to clear the urgent table. I have been one of those that uh, defended the commission in the past three, four years, even when the Senate didn't want to confirm Ibrahim Magu, even when the Kabar didn't want him, want him, even when some agencies didn't want him. We said, no, we are satisfied with his work. Let him continue with his job. And the time has come again for me and well meaning Nigerians to call on President Mohamed Buhari to send his name to the Senate for confirmation. Uh, his appointments appear to be running out, maybe about 11th or so of November. And uh, there are things on ground to justify this call. Our intelligence has it that uh, uh, some people are moving around. They have even started interviewing some people, trying to get some people to take over from him, uh, which we consider may truncate the current efforts of the EFCC. And uh, you can agree with me that in the past few months, uh, uh, the activities of EFCC have been on the front burner. You have seen the fight on cyber crime. The recoveries they have made from Asa Ondo, Edo, uh, Delta Axis, over 700 uh, million they've recovered in Kano Zone, a lot of recoveries in Enugu Zone, and the check on this cyber crime, which of course has brought the name of the country into disrepute. Uh, we cannot get involved in crime and criminality because of hardship. We should not be involved in crimes because we have no jobs. So that's why uh, when the FBI and uh, other countries publish a lot of things about Nigerians' involvement in crime and criminality, it touches some of us who, are, who believe in this country uh, that it is no longer even safe for you to travel. You may get to an airport, you'll be treated differently. It's because where I come from, they say when one finger touches oil, it will touch, it will affect the other fingers. So EFCC under Magu has attacked that, that is coming down, is getting uh, the speed with which it was accelerating has come low. You are aware of the uh, lot of fraud that took place in the power sector, how billions of Naira, we are told recently, uh, was paid into different company account, to grow Roxon and all those companies, and yet we had no light. You have seen a lot of uh, 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 arrests of people involved in laundering and uh, so on and so forth. So these are efforts that we should not truncate at this time. The man should be allowed to finish his job. I'm not speaking for EFCC. It's because this fight is a fight I've started uh, three, four years ago and we have been monitoring activities in the place. I don't have their brief. I am saying it as a patriot and anybody opposed to corruption and stealing of public funds should tow this line that Ibrahim Mustafa Magu should be allowed to continue and finish this job he has started. The president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, should as a matter of urgency send his name to the Senate 
for confirmation. That will give him more teeth to pick those that he has not picked in the past three, four years. There is nobody that will run away from this. The roads are not good. We don't have light. We don't have roads. Nothing is working. It's because of the acts of these people that we put into office. They help themselves at the expense of the people. Move from here to Kenya. Move from any part of Nigeria. Move from any to Nisha. Move anywhere. There are no roads. The infrastructures have collapsed. Because the money meant for those things are now in private hands. We must recover all. The man there has delivered on his mandate. He has worked so hard to tame the rate of crime and criminality that involves financial crimes. So let nobody be bringing into EFCC what they have been doing politically. And I'm saying this because if you look at President Mohamed Buhari's government, it's the fight of the three cardinal programs he has. The one that has succeeded, that has brought the president and his government to a level, is the fight against corruption. Changing him now is drawing the hands of the clock backwards. So those who are trying and eyeing there should forget it. We know why they are doing so. They are doing so because Ibrahim Mustafa Magu has refused to enter into business with them. If you are getting to the trap of EFCC, you have to go and answer the questions. And for those former governors, and for those who are even members of the ruling party, I think Magu immediately after confirmation should go for them, even those who are in the presidency. You should go for them. There should be no secret cows, and there will be no hiding place.